Let me show you how we work up one of our Maspi cases so we can determine how much expansion we can get. So here's a case. It's a 30-year-old adult male. He doesn't sleep well. He clenches his teeth. If you look over here on the side, you can see his intramolar width on the top is only 33.4. It should be between 40 to 46. He has a larger bottom jaw. He has a 37, almost a, almost a 38 millimeter intramolar width on the bottom. And what we obviously want to do is we want to expand the upper arch by a lot. And the question becomes, how much can we actually expand the upper arch without making it too big? So here's a good close-up view of the lower arch. And like I was saying, as you can see, he has a 37.9 millimeter intramolar width. We don't have a suture on the bottom, so we can't do conventional expansion. But what we can do is we can upright the teeth, we can reposition them, get a little bit of alveolar expansion. And what we're looking at in the end is with the uprighting and the alveolar expansion, we can get him to about 38.3 millimeters of intramolar width. So this is kind of what we can get. So what we do is we're going to take a look back at the top jaw. And if you look up top here, you can see that we planned with this increase on the bottom, we can get his upper arch to about 41.1 millimeters, which is awesome. So let's go back to the top. So here we are back to the upper jaw. And this is the beginning. And this is the end. And that is quite a lot of expansion. I think his tongue is going to be quite happy in here. So, so this is a really nice case. We went to the bottom jaw and that's the rate limiting step. And we plug that number into the top. And in the end, we have a case where we can get good occlusion, good tongue space, about 41 millimeters of intramolar width. And that's how we do these cases. So what we do is we start out with this sort of analysis and this is a round one of aligners with the bone level expansion we are getting the lower jaw to 38.3 and the upper jaw to 41.1 that's going to keep the teeth moving with the bone level expansion and then what we'll do is we'll do a second round of aligners after that's done to kind of look at the top get any refinements done look at the bottom and get good occlusion top to bottom 